Hi, my beauty squad. So, guess what? Guess what time it is? I know y'all been waiting all month long. And, da 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 da! She is here. My PR for Busy Beauty has arrived. Well, she's been here for like two days. Um, it's been chaotic. If you would like to get a box from Busy Beauty, make sure you leave a comment down below. You can hit me up over on IG. It's a lot quicker, a lot simpler. And that way I can send your page straight to Stephanie. Or go hit up Renee. You do not have to hit us both up for a referral. But you do have to have a referral from one of us. If that makes sense. You don't have to have a referral from both of us. You have to have it from one of us. Either or. It does not matter. It is not a competition through us. Who can get the most referrals. Who does what. Stephanie already knows. Me and her grind like there ain't no other. And that's how we do it. We have a lot of the same supporters. So again, it's not no big deal if you contact her for a referral or you contact me. We are spoken to by Stephanie. We are told, you know, hey, I got a slot. Let people know. Um, there is a waiting list right now, unfortunately. But, but does not mean you cannot get in. The minimum is $50. Remember, $50. You cannot get a box less than $50. Y'all have to remember that shipping alone is $10 for a, a small box. When you get up into the big boxes, they're $20-some to ship. That's just shipping. That's not including your goodies. She does not deduct from that. Uh, surprisingly, most brands do. Most places do because it is a lot on the business to pay shipping and all the products. She does not. So $50 is what you're getting in your box. You're guaranteed that. Do I recommend you get a $50 box? No. I recommend you save your money and get at least $75 to $100 box. Why, I say, because you get a more of a variety. You get, you're able to splurge a little bit more and you're able to get a little bit more quality. Can you get a good quality box for $50? Hell yeah, I've seen them all day long. But me personally, I think the $100 boxes are where it's at. Yes, do you have to save up a little bit more? But I promise you, it's worth it. Like, it's well worth it. You're, you know, you're going to get a big box. And you get a big box of goodies. And it feels like Christmas, guys. It feels like either your birthday or Christmas. So, if you're splurging on yourself, save up a little bit. Does that mean that you might have to wait another week or two? Yes. For yourself. Because believe me, that's how I have to do it. I have to, you know, I'm not able to just drop $100 here and there. So, yes, I have to save. But it is so worth her boxes. I promise. Once you are in and you get consultation, you are not required to buy a box every month. It is not a subscription. But if you are in and you enjoy these boxes, let me just give you a hint of advice. Her boxes don't do that, but get better. I promise. So once Stephanie gets to know you, she's able to build these boxes for you. She's able to know what you like and all this stuff. Is what she starts like seeing stuff around that she's grabbing in and she knows it. Oh, this person likes this. This is. Like, your boxes become more custom to you because she gets to learn who you are, what your dislikes are, what your likes are, what you're allergic to, what you're not allergic to, what you're in a, like, feel for. So, these boxes don't do that, but get better. So, I highly recommend whoever shops with her, you will come back eventually, but you don't have to every month. Just know, if you're not able to buy a box every month, there is a, there is a high requirement. She does ask that, you know, if you're wanting to get into the box, say, like, at least buy one every six months or whatever to stay active so that she, she knows that she can start shopping for you. You know, it's not that, you know, it's that they towards her, but if she knows you're going to come back, she's able to seek out stuff specifically for you. She don't want to go out and buy stuff for you. You never buy a box again. You know what I mean? So just let her know, like, what your intentions are. If it's a boy, bam, thank you, bam, let her know. If it's something that you're considering and you're not sure, let her know. There is no shame in the game. Just be verbal about the situation. That's all that's required. If you are buying a box and something comes up and you're no longer able to buy a box, be verbal. Let her know, hey, something's come up. Emergency, I'm going to have to wait a couple weeks. Don't wait until she's about to ship out your box and be like, oh my God. Um, yeah, I forgot that... Uh, such and such come up and I'm gonna have to wait like four weeks be considerate because you just put this woman through all that work for nothing 
because it doesn't take her long to build them once she's in the process of it and she doesn't take money up front when you're ready for your box you pay for your box your box is shipped out Ta-da! she does a consultation with you you would tell her your likes dislikes what you're looking for keep realistically $50 boxes you're not going to get that Jeffree Star and if you do you might get a lippy or something but you're not getting a Jeffree Star palette honey they are $65 and on resale like sell they're like $45 there's no way going in for a $100 box you can get a Jeffree Star and a couple other goodies so that's why I do recommend the $100 boxes because you, your expectations can be a little bit higher and you can expect some of the good brands up in there not saying that the unaffordable ones ain't good into some uh indies in y'all's life because y'all indies is where it's at i know y'all might not believe me and not all indies but some of these indies knows where it's at look at this look at this palette wouldn't you love to get this palette hey look at this palette and i've currently got two new ones that I'm going to have to do reviews on. But I got one from this brand. And one from another brand. This is the cutest freaking palette ever. Look at that. Look at that palette. Here. We got the um, color. From uh, Bella Beauty Bar. And then the Pastel Gardens. From Bella Beauty Bar. Yeah, these are very nice formulas. Now the color of garden, uh, the um, color, CEO of colors is that order palette from um, Bella Beauty Bar, and I can kind of tell from the formula. This is our newest baby, and it's nice. It is super nice. You got like the little leather casing, so that is really nice. And then this is embroidered. Like it's not just on top, it's in, it's in there. So, if these are some brands you would like to see in a PC Beauty Box, and you are somebody that already gets PC Beauty Box, so let, make sure you let Stephanie know. Because we're, we're talking, we're chatting it up. Ain't nothing in stone yet. But, look at these. gorgeous very nice palettes now when I say indie that does not mean affordable <laughs> there is a difference I promise there are some indie brands that are affordable but there are some that cost a little bit more and that's just because a lot of these indie brands have dual chromes now sure you have a IG account I cannot send you to Stephanie without an IG account. She does all her work on IG. If you do not have an IG account, just build you one. You don't have to have a profile picture. You don't have to have pictures up. You do not have to be a content creator. You do not have to show your face whatsoever. You have to have a platform. That's it. Is nothing to it. You upload IG. It is my girl always lets me down with the mask. And she sends me so many masks. It's because... I do a family masking. We, once like every two weeks, we all get together and we sit down and we go through the mask and we pick out one. Even my boys, like everybody in the house does it. And there's 11 of us. So this is greatly appreciated. <laughs> we got the anti-Asian collagen. Um, rose. Royal jelly. I did see some bubbly mask on, um, TikTok, I want to try. I think the kids will love it. Detox, let's talk. These are really good for teenagers. Or if you're having like a breakout. Glow, baby, glow. Stay calm, smoothing, sheet mask. Aloe infused. Glow, baby, glow. Glow, baby, glow. I'm um, Cactus. And another, stay calm. Sheet mask, we are good. And then, y'all know springtime is upon us. And who doesn't love to smell yummy at springtime? So she did hook me up with some yummy smells. This is the cutest bottle ever. And 
This reminds me a lot of the Marc Jacobs. I used to actually work for a company that made perfumes, and so we would get discount on a lot of name brand perfumes like Beyonce, J Lo, Marc Jacobs, um, Dior, uh, Adidas, Natica. All, all like, I had it good. Unfortunately, my whole thing got stolen because I had a suitcase. Cause we would get discounts every week. We could only spend like so much, and I would go in there and kind of stock up. So for Christmas, birthdays, what have you. But the good thing is. Mario might be going there. He might be seeing someone perfume house. Looks like Mark Jacobs. The thing is, does it smell like Mark Jacobs? It's a little strong, which Mark Jacobs is strong too. It has a strong floral scent, which hits the flowers. It is an um writing I can't understand so I can't tell you what it says on here it just say Drew Lad the perfume I'm gonna give it a second to kind of settle usually the top notes are the strongest so like I said the first thing I pick it up is flowers flower like it's heavily flowered but it is starting to set down it smells like jasmine lilies like it's you can, you can for sure smell the floral scent. So if you're not really a floral person, you might not like that. But again, hint the flowers. Like, it just smells good. I like it. And then we got some Brazilian Crush. Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. I know this smells good. It has a little baby lotion mist. And I am not mad to have this. This is going over here. I'm going to be smelling all kind of different. So, if y'all want to know what I'm going to smell like this, this spring, that probably would have hit a dix. This is the Champagne Toast by Bath & Body Works. This is more of a winter smell for me. Hint, Champagne Toast, but... Hold on. <laughs> like I told y'all, I would be smelling it. Yeah. It's got that crisp, like, apple-y smell to it. So, this is definitely, like, a fall scent for me. So, I would definitely pick that up for fall. But it's good because I got these two to play with. And I also, like, my go-to perfume is the Ardell Grande. That's, that's my go-to scent. Like, if you want to know what I smell like going out of the house or in the house, it's Ardell Grande. Ariel Grande. Just saying, if you was curious, we have a all burning Huda matte lip. She red. She really red. Just get out really do red, but Huda's lips are good. The lipsticks are good. So I'll probably end up keeping that if I don't toss it into my 2K giveaway. But if I keep it, it's why. I love this stuff. Sent me some radiant pads. I swear by these. These are so freaking good. So good. I go through them like that. But they are so good. They help. It's fully tight. It's told it brightens. It really does. So wipes. I just, just finished the nighttime wipes that she sent me. And I guess because I have been doing more looks, I've been going through them a lot quicker. But I gotta start bringing out my spray a little bit more. This is cool. This is the magnet wrist. So this right here, she takes everything, guys. Everything. I've got my little knife she sent me. I don't know why I didn't pull that out. I can wear this whenever I'm uh, doing my looks. And I can put my brushes on it. And this would be good because I've been doing a lot of uh, my girls' looks too. They got prom and like dances and stuff coming up. Okay, cool. Um, I'm trying to see. I know I got some better ones. Oh, 
gorgeous. If I sit there, let me see what this is. This is cool though. Even uh, me and Mario, we work on cars together. We work on our car together. Let me rephrase that. I'm no by no means a my mechanic. My dad was a mechanic, but uh, your girl's not. And Mario knows less about vehicles than I do, so we help each other out. <laughs> so this would be cool for the tools. Oh, here we go. Like when I'm doing my jewelry. I've got a metal one too. I thought my brushes were sick. These would be good for stuff like this. I will find a way to work it, but yeah. I do a lot of, especially Halloween, I do a lot of dramatic looks. So that'd be good to have my sculpt these day tool right there because I lose everything. Everything. Complete cleaning, 20 pre wet wipes. So I got two packs of wipes. Hydrating body wash with coconut water, aloe, and sea cap. She knows a lot of coconut smells. Still. Oh, this was so good. This one right here. Stephanie always looks out. She always looks out. Even if it ain't just makeup, she's always looking out. Another brow pencil. I love Stephanie. Every brow product she gets, she sent me because she knows I am on a mission to find a good brow product. And uh, these poor little things can use all the help you can get. Now, this might not like pick, like, but I can outline with this. I did have to go a little darker with my hair. So, this right here is a face palette. We got Queen of Tarts face palette. So, we have blushes, two matte blushes, and a sheer blush. These are a little dark. I love the shade right here. But as long as you go in lightheaded, you'll be good. And I love a good blush. Then we have a Jacqueline Hills. I want to see if they're sticky. They're not that sticky. Lip glaze. Acrobic. So she looked like this. I love the little Jofa. I love the Jofa to it. It is literally just a clear. And am I combining them? Yes, I am. Do I always combine them? Yes, I do. I love little makeup. Then we have a Payday Estilla lip gloss. Look how pretty. I love the shade. See, this I would wear. Look at her. She's like a magenta color. That's pretty. And then we have a Protect Me Heat Protection. I always need, especially with a house full of girls. Because my girls are always dress up to their hair. Even if you don't see me doing something to my hair, they're always dress up to their hair. Rude Cosmetics. This is the Twinkle Twinkle Highlighter. Look at the packaging. It's so cute. She's glittery. But she's cute. This might end up going to one of my girls. Just because this has a lot of like glitter flakes in it. I like the ones that you put on and you like shut down. Body cleaning oil. Yes, ma'am. I love a good oil because it moisturizes your skin while you're cleaning it. And I am well known for my baby type skin. I have soft, soft skin and I love to keep it that way. Yay! I got me some stencils to uh, swatch. So. Best believe y'all will be seeing some swatches soon. Might do the palette that she sent me. We got the she 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 butter hand cream coconut milk. Yeah, that smells good too. And um, just FYI. Now moving on. We got some stencils. 
This right here is cute. She sent me two of these. Uh, the girl said they'll grab the other one. But look at them. They're little popsicle holders. So they go like those are popsicles. You got some little hearts, stars. You got a star and then you got flowers, which is super cute. And it's six of these. And then, like I said, she sent me two of these. So, girls got other ones in there. We have Flower Love Floors by Rude Cosmetics. Rude Cosmetics is an underrated brand for sure. Look at these shades. You got one glitter, which I don't mind because I'm not really into glitters. It's always good to have at hand, especially whenever you're a creative artist like I am. I never know what I'm going to do. I never know what's in store to do. So to have it available is cool. Do I grab them a lot? No. But will I grab it? Eventually I will. Look at that pigment. It has like barely swatching this stuff. Look at that. I don't want to touch the flower. Look at that. Like, when I tell you they're underrated, y'all y'all know, I know my shades. I might not be an expert, but I've been around the ballpark enough now to, I can kind of give you the rundown of what's good and what's not. And you don't have to spend a fortune in everything bougie just to feel like you got good quality because there are some, not all, there are some that will surprise you at an affordable price. <clears throat> now, when I say that, I am very, you already know, I am notorious to tell you some things are worth splurging for. Foundations are a must for me. I have to have a good foundation. I don't mean I have to have a expensive foundation. I have to have a good foundation. I have some crazy ass skin that does not like anything. That it refuses to behave. Like, she is not oily. She is not dry. She is flaky, crusty textured heifer and to have something to actually lay on it and sit nicely we've had to fight we have to fight daily so this is the footwear boots collection i have the other pastel one like this and so i have this one out and i'll probably break the other one out because these are just like all light shades and the other one has a little bit like different pigments but even with like her glitters are nice Look at that. Now, this formula is a little different than the other formula. I can tell. And I do see that in a lot of brands, depending on size and, like, collection, you have to, like, don't judge a brand by one palette. Because a lot of times they do switch up. Now, this right here, I've just got these in. The spell books. These are good. Really good formula. Really good formula. Look at that. I did my look like the little reddish purple look. That's what I did with, with, with the spell books. So. Look at that. And purples are different cool. And last but not least, she heard that uh, Dominic Cosmetics has been commenting a lot on my, my content. And so if she wanted to give us some more content, we have the Dominique. The moment palette. It's the most played ball. I hear it. It's like pounding in my head. Pew, 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 pew. Now, one thing I can say, Dominique is a little bit more pricier than Rude, but at the same time, she has really good formula. But I have found that a lot of her mats are dusty. And when I say that, it's like, you know, you got a lot of kick up in them. Doesn't mean it's bad. No. Like, see, and her shivers are not soft, and it's probably because I am spoiled from all these little these uh itty breads with their really soft shivers because everything hits a little different whenever you uh hand make stuff or you use the like a company close to you. Compared to like overseas and stuff like that. So, I love the cream shop. I gotta hurry up and get this off before I get in a white shirt. 
Because I already know how clumsy I am. I'll rub it up against my shirt in a heartbeat. So, what do you need to do? If you're interested in a Busy Beauty box, y'all already know. If you don't know, if this is the first time you're clicking on one of my videos, do not despair. She is private, but you can get a referral from me or Renee. And uh, I will always have Renee's uh, channel linked down below. I love Renee to death. She is one of my besties. She is one of my ride or dies since I started my channel. And I love her so much. I am so glad that, you know, she's a part of this crew. I am so honored to be friends with her. And I just, I love her to death. So if you have not checked out Renee, I do highly recommend you go check out her content. She does a little bit of everything. She does masks. She does, she just did a tutorial on her hair. Uh, she does vlogging. She does get ready for me, reviews, all of that. So you're someone that's interested in a little bit of everything. Go check her out. Even if you don't watch all her content, you'll find something in her content that you will enjoy, I promise. And she is just so down to earth and so hard working and just a go get her. You'll be able to relate to her. I promise. And she's been at this a little bit longer than I have. Uh she started a little bit earlier with the intent of just having uh thought about it outside of growing. And then she really started getting serious with it a little bit later on. So where she's at, being that she's monetized it all. Y'all, she deserves a round of applause because let me tell you, after your first year is up on YouTube, you start losing hours daily, daily. So it is really hard. So for anybody that's got monetized after their year, because that's a struggle. It's a straight struggle. It can happen. I've seen it happen quite a few times. So do not despair if you are a content creator and you're trying to get there. You're just like, you just broke my heart. Just go like, why? Do not despair. I've seen plenty do it. Plenty, like plenty of my friends do it. So it is possible, but just know once you hit them uh, 365 days, honey, it starts clicking. Cause you've got to hit like 400 hour watch time plus, uh, what was it? 400 hour watch time and it's something else. I, I've been monetized too long. <laughs> I have some quotes. But uh, there's some requirements and now they got it to, if you upload like, over a hundred thousand shorts you get monetized as well so if you're a short content creator don't despair you can also get monetized through that you just have to grind a little bit harder which they are shorter videos so of course you have to put up a lot more with that being said if you want to hey beauty squad so i just realized i was going through and edited my video and i just realized i didn't make a ending to my video <laughs> So I just wanted to get on here real quick and tell y'all I love y'all. I will see y'all in my next video. Make sure if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, turn that bell on, and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to go check out Renee's video. Hers will be up in the next couple days. And let us know if 